So, basically what that conversation was, was after you do either of those missions, then we have that conversation where we come up with the solution of the shroud. So basically, you would now be able to do the mission where you could uh, try to do the, you know, cure the genophage. But that is a prior, and that is a priority mission. But once you do that, you then can't do some of the other missions. You know, you wouldn't, if you, you if, for example, because I already did the Rachni one, I wouldn't be able to do this Turian platoon mission. So doing some of these other side missions before you do the priority missions is definitely a, a high recommend uh put the priority missions off like last once you like find nothing else to do because once you because i found out that once you do some of these you then there's no going back for some of the other missions it's not like you can do the main stuff and then do the side stuff later no you gotta do the side stuff first before you do the main stuff because it won't let you go back and do the rest all right well, let's uh trainer said anderson wanted to talk to me Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? <laughs> I wish. Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Yep. Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. Yeah, I do. By the way, what's the deal with you and, uh, Miss Sanders? I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. Yeah. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. I gathered as much. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. We got to... to... Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. Good. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. Yeah, diplomacy is a pain. But it is part of the job. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Yeah. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. Huh. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for. Oh, man. Anyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Oh, man. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. Huh. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities. I can imagine. Which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Oh, man. Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. I can just imagine no what it's like for some of those big Everybody cities. Knows what's at stake. Just imagine what it's like in New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, San Francisco, Dallas, Miami. Just, you know, and then that's just in the U.S. And then you got some of the other cities around the world. You got Moscow, you got Hong Kong, Beijing, Tokyo. Yeah, you know, yeah, London, you know, all the all the, the 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 notable capital cities just all over the world. You can just imagine what it's like when the reapers are taking over those cities and probably enslaving all the people there and with indoctrination. Well, we haven't forgotten you, Anderson. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Oh man. Well, you already Don't say once, that. That didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Yes, let's. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Uh, well, I do... Uh, I did like the part where he said, this kind of reminds me of what you forgot to do. I'm like, like, oh, like like what? Like you, and, like you asking Kaylee to marry you? I mean, come on. You two met 20 years ago. You, said, you just admitted to me you were more than close... Yeah, when this is over, you 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 go over to Kaylee and you propose to her. <laughs> That's what I would be telling telling him. I wonder if Victor has anything to say. Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh, extracting the female Krogan. Thank you. I had help. Morden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the Doctor was on your mission through the Omega Four relay. 
I'm surprised the Solarian cares about the Krogan. Well... War is full of surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. That's all. Of course, Commander. Huh. Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. You okay? Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. <laughs> Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he uh, cut. Oh, I didn't need to know that. Oh. You're going to be w walking awkwardly for the next couple days? <laughs> Ouch. You hear we had to evac another colony? Losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. Neither does Cerberus. If they did, we could drop an asteroid on them. <laughs> We're not the Krogan. <laughs> and why do these two always have these conversations only when I'm walking through? Seriously. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Benning? That's where that, uh, that politician was asking to find out about his son. You know, we'll have my to labs do that. studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Yeah, I saw that first Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. <laughs> Commander, No new messages. Alright, time to make some make another round. What does do the people have to say? Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. <laughs> While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Huh. <laughs> oh. Well lucky you. <laughs> she can't smell it. <laughs> How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up. Yes, huh? he is. He don't grow up. He'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. <laughs> well, you learn from the best, Commander. Aww. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. <laughs> Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. <laughs> Commander? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Oh, here we go. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior, <laughs> Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. <laughs> the Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. <laughs> she has become a more private person since becoming the shadow broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Huh. Hello, Shepard. Well, she didn't even bother asking me. <laughs> but man, she has got, gotten so curious about those kind of things. Huh. Constantly wanting to ask me those kinds of questions. Remove, the, remove the, an AI shackles. All of a sudden, they want to know everything about human behavior. <laughs> it's like a little child going, "Why is the sky blue? Why is why do we have what is oxygen? Why do we have to breathe? Why why why?" Always asking the why questions. <laughs> Let's see if. If I can, uh, I think I can talk to Morden about uh, a little more now. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Uh, oh yeah, we can ask about the Shroud. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Huh. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. It was the Solarian's work? And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan. Stabilize climate, impress population. Uh, Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Except it was used to spread the genophage. <laughs> but 
But anyway. Nice talking with you, Borden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Okay. And I can't talk to Eve about anything new. Let's visit Garrus and Liara. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's in the lounge. Oh, okay. Huh. Garrus took took time away from his calibrations to go chill in the lounge. <laughs> Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonex Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. Huh. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Hmm. Right away. Yeah, I wouldn't count on the council being that uh, sensible, Liara. They haven't been in the past. Grunt address, new artifact company recruits. Why they put a, t a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company? Ah, I don't understand why they gave me whining pie jacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Trying to mate with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no one talks... <laughs> Someone help him up. We'll move in an hour. <laughs> Grunt put that guy in his place. <laughs> From Dr. Locke to Admiral Hackett. Crystal. Project is to see Rachni shutting down the halls. They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. Huh. Hello, Liara. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. Oh? What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. Huh. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Gee, that young. <laughs> Only a hundred and nine. <laughs> I know, it must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. Yeah. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. This war isn't over, Liara. Stop thinking that way. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. Huh. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Oh. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. It's all for you, of course. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. <laughs> I don't know if I could do this without you. Aww. Flatterer. I try. I try, yes. I'll see you soon, Shepard. <laughs> Whoa, she did quite a spin there. Did you see that? <laughs> but yes, my Shepard is quite the romantic. Always try to be very romantic for her. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Anytime. Alright, let's go see what Garrus is doing in the lounge. <laughs> Probably having a drink with some of the some of the crew. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnar. Really? You've seen them before? Oh, this guy. A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnar. I wish I could sit right next to him right here. I was like, yep, yep, I remember that. Hell, I remember those good old days. Her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. 
But mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. <laughs> just one word, Shepard. Grunt. <laughs> There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Oh, yeah. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. <laughs> Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy, we're a regular safari too. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't that be something? Offering safari tours on the Normandy for only <laughs> for only forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Actually, I'm not so. I, that might be a tad expensive. I don't. I don't remember how much they charge at for the safari tours at uh, Animal Kingdom in Dis in Disney World. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. <laughs> Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Oh, damn. Oh, good lord, I hope not. <laughs> oh, man. Shepard. Oh, I really hope not. Don't, don't, don't say that, Garrus. <laughs> oh, man. If there's one thing I never want to see ever again. <laughs> hmm. Is there anybody else? There's... Stop beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. No, you didn't. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. Gosh, Anna you Adams. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Ashley didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here, right now. We have a war to win. So clear your head and focus. Okay, okay, you win. It will not be mentioned again. Oh, now these two seem like they would be a cute couple as well. They just they just seem they just seem like it. Hello, Commander. Commander. You two carry on. Okay. Javix in his room. Okay. Let's go see if Javik has anything to say. He might have something to say about the Rachni. I don't remember. On, load. Load. There you go. Commander, I understand you faced Rachni on your mission. Yep. You know about them? In our cycle, we use them as weapons. Huh. Biological proxies. It was before I was born. But every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. Huh. For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. Huh. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Nope. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Rachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. Rachni proved the universe favors the strong. Our cycle tried to exterminate them, then yours, and they still survived. I would prefer to be alone. Alright. He always has something interesting to say. Well, not always, but usually. Not sure what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. <laughs> what purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for working with dogs. Look how long I've been with you. Oh! <laughs> nice one, Gabby. But dogs don't have to serve a purpose. They're dogs. They're amazing. They're wonderful. Commander? All good, Commander. Do 
That's cute that Gabby named her Sophie. That must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. Huh. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. <laughs> Commander. That's usually the cue when they don't have anything to say. Commander. Okay. Let's go check in on James and Cortez. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. I appreciate you checking in on me. Sir. Yeah, he's still gonna want... He still wants to meet for drinks at Purgatory. Rachni? Of all the things to... <laughs> it's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. Hey! Grunt is crazier than you. And that's saying something. Hey! You're better looking, at least. Hey! Oh. Oh, well, thanks. What's with the cheap shots, James? Come on! Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Huh. James taking some shots at me, man. Oh, look at this. I can afford either of these. Well, I don't use sniper rifles and I don't use shotguns. I could get this for Garrus. But, nah. Okay. I think I'm gonna head to the Citadel now. See what, see who I can meet, what I can turn in, 